What's going on everybody? This is your boy Landshark Rose and we are here doing a Hades strategy build right now. Um this one we're gonna be using Exagriff. Uh we're gonna be using the aspect of Ares and basically what it does, if you see right there, is just you use your special, you stand in the special, you get bonus damage. Uh for the keepsakes, right now I'm gonna be using the Zeus uh Zeus keepsakes so that way, you know, um I get a um, a higher chance of a rarity boon when I see him. Uh, this build right here has been called the Thunderous Hunt, and this is a mixture of a Zeus and an Artemis build. So, um, right here, we're getting the Lightning Strike, which is going to be on basically the main focal point of this build, because it's the basic attack that you use for extra, um, extra grip. And um, right here, I'm getting uh, Static Discharge, so whenever you shoot a shot, Lightning Zaps with it. So it pairs honestly really well with this. Great, fantastic, gotta love it. Um, so right here we're getting Artemis next. And um, I just wanna show off the, the great damage. The damage that the static discharge and basically basic attack, how the basic attack does, which is just actually just clap cheeks. <laughs> it just destroys the two bosses right here, well mini bosses right here. Um, With that being said, we got um thing. So we got Artemis. And I I think right here talk over me like everybody else besides Callisto and the Nymphs, I guess. Not that I can even hear you, but uh, right here we get the special. What the special does it allows us to crit. And we maxed our relationship with Artemis, so I'm like, yeah, is there. Um Right here, we get the Daedalus Hammer, Useless. and we get the Armor Piercing one, and we are, we're going with the Armor Piercing one, because uh, when we get to Elysium and uh, and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to get rid of the enemies, uh, a lot faster, because they most of the of them have armor. So, now we're fighting the Lecto, baby girl, and with the special, the Zeus, and Static, uh, the Zeus basic attack, and the Static Discharge, how we just shred the Lily's <laughs> We literally just shred her like some cheese on a cheese and grade it going on some pizza. Um, that being said, guys, if you guys haven't seen the other uh, 80 videos of the four episodes that I did, I'm going to you guys go to my back. If you guys need to the channel, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of the channel so far. I want to welcome you. Uh, right here, I'm um, okay. switching the key pick to Artemis key because basically power. for me, I think I got the most that I wanted out of the build. The and we got the Child of the Gods, perfect too, Zeus and Artemis. Um, we're getting the uh, Chain Lightning so that way our basic attack bounces more to I'd different people. Um, Didn't have much choice. So we're gonna, see, we're gonna see how well this works, especially now that we have the Daedalus ability, the Daedalus ability that we shred the armor off the bosses right here. Um, but yeah. This so uh, if you guys wanna see more builds or if you guys are gonna, you know, drop some recommendations of different builds that you guys want to try, that you guys wanna see. Uh, you know, I really do enjoy playing this game. It's super fun to me and um let me know if you guys want to want <laughs> yeah, it's all good. All right, all right, I'm going to forgive you. So with this one, we got the support fire. This is the key ability that you want. Is you want support fire from Artemis. And with Athena, um, right here, I like Athena because of her defense and the impervious that you get and the deflect. So right here, I got the aid. The aid is really, I think, I think the aid is one of the best aids. Uh, so you can see right here with the support fire clock match, you, you get Athena again because, uh, you know, I missed her. We get the dash, the divine dash. I feel like people sleep on the divine dash, uh, but it really, it really helps when you're in a tight uh, when you're in a tight spot or anything. Uh, right here we're fighting my boy, Lurney, the homie, even though, you know, he doesn't consider us homies. But, um, like I said before, the armor piece that we have from the data is what really does help here. Um, so, 
on her just getting melted, just like the butt of the lie happening. Oh, what is going on? Um, but yeah, the, the static, the static discharge that you get, and the, the electric bounce with the base attack, plus the support fire, literally shreds. Literally shreds everybody, but they ain't gonna stop me. They ain't gonna stop me at all. It's that new. Um, To be honest, I don't know why the, um, the greater aid here. So if you're now looking back at it, I don't know. It still works out for me. And right here, you just literally body, body, body like no more. Um, so now we journey to Elysium and as you can see I keep the keepsake on this one just because I just want more chances with Artemis and this right here this is literally what you want that's it this is the prime with Theseus um ability that you want from the Daedalus Hammer with Axel if you want the no reload I'm telling you right now you don't want that like one of the best abilities ever uh, with Patroclus, you want to get the touch of um, the touch of darkness sticks, especially when you want to do that. Um, right here, we go with Hunter's Mark, so that way we can get the critical a lot faster. We finally finished the um, the relationship with Artemis, and we got my boy Mercury right here. We are getting a special to go faster since we have the crit special from Artemis. Um, and, and honestly, out of those three abilities, I wanted that one. And right here, we are really just shredding. <laughs> We're just shredding these in this series right here. But I'm um, going back to touch up on uh, the, um, the no reloading um, ability from Daedalus Hammer. The uh, three round burst that comes with it. It's, it's a lot easier and it's great to know that you know you don't have to reload anymore. Because sometimes, I know for me, I be forgetting. So press the mouse and we go, shoot! Shoot that dude. Um, so right here, Ooh, yeah. so right here, I mean, you can tell with the support fire and the static bounce that's doing damage to both, and I mean, it's just nasty, it's just filthy, this combo is just filthy, um, actually, y'all, drop a comment, with, what do you guys think about the Asterius and the PC? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I feel like fighting uh, Asterius is easy, even though he's probably with his axe and sword. But, um, Theseus is just mad annoying. I don't know about you guys. Drop a comment. Just drop a comment on how y'all feel about Theseus. I think he's a one Easy, easy, no cap. <laughs> uh, so we clap his cheese. We clap his cheese. Uh, we use the, um,. Right here, we're gonna actually switch our keepsakes. We're gonna go with the lucky tooth, just for that extra uh, assurance that, um, just in case that we die again, we got it. We good. We straight. All right. We got another life. We got three lives in the boat with stubborn the finance and the lucky tooth. Uh, right here, I got the Artemis duo from uh, the sticks with the different gates. So we got that. Uh, right here, we're gonna pick up Athena again. And um, we, I, I was like, I don't know which one to go with. I should have went with Last Stand, but I got the cast. I mean, I, I didn't have a cast Crisp without, every, like, you know, throughout this whole build until literally the final, before the final fight. So that's great. I mean, I, you really, like, as you could tell, you really didn't need a cast. But um, the duo did. It's like, you know, might as well get a cast because it's the only thing. You're going to get an extra game in the duo itself. So, um, but I mean, as you can see here, we out here clapping cheeks. We know Hades out here being um, doing mad damage as always. As always, oh, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you guys haven't seen the previous the previous video, uh, make sure you guys go do it. It's just me fighting Hades. Pretty much, me fighting. Hades. I think you guys will really enjoy that video. <laughs> because that's just so annoying. But then again, so I'm not gonna lie, most of it was like like 90%. But 
Again, I was like, yo, come on. I had like two HP left. I thought I thought I won the world. He's like, no, 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 no. You thought you was done? And then he slapped me with the flaming skull. And then I thought you were done. Uh, using the greater aid here, just like I said, greater aid Athena does just best. Nice. I can just, like I literally just can attack and just get beat as well. Do not have to worry about it. And plus, just stand in my special to get the uh, aspect bonus. I honestly, <laughs> I feel like if it wasn't for the uh, Dino Fall, I think I would have lost. It. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we still have the lucky team. But we just lost it. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see. And uh, right now, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shaky, I was a little shaky. Like, I was getting a little wet, I was like, no, it can't be happening. But, we did actually pull through, we got it, slapped his cheeks. <laughs> but, uh, with that being said, guys, um, the build is going be pulling up in just a second. No. If you guys want to, you know, pause the video, take a screenshot. So for all my Hades enough, players out there, for all my Hades lovers out there, this is the build that I that use. As as Hopefully, done. you know, you guys use this build as well and you enjoy it. With that being said, guys, let me, like I said below, let me know um, what you guys, what build I should try. Let me know what builds that you guys use. With that being said, it's been your boy Lance Shark Rose speaking. Treat every day like a Friday, and I'll catch you guys in the next Blood. episode.